According to Thomas Mann, great artists are great invalids. Michelangelo was a manic depressive who portrayed himself as a flayed martyr in his painting. Henry Matisse gave up being a lawyer because of appendicitis. Robert Schumann only began composing after his right hand became paralyzed and ended his career as a concert pianist. Maybe people have to really suffer before they can risk doing what they love. Nietzsche and his tertiary syphilis, Mozart and his uremia, Paul Klee and the scleroderma that shrank his joints and muscles to death, Frida Kahlo and the spina bifida that covered her legs with bleeding sores, Lord Byron and his club foot, the Bronte sisters and their tuberculosis, Mark Rothko and his suicide, Flannery O'Connor and her lupus. Inspiration needs disease, injury, madness. Charles Meuron, a brilliant French engraver, became schizophrenic and died in an asylum. Francisco Goya, poisoned by the lead in his bright paints, colors he applied with his fingers and thumbs, scooping them out of tubs until he suffered from lead encephalopathy, leading to deafness, depression, and insanity. The French painter Vitteau shows himself as a pale, spindly guitar player, dying of tuberculosis, as he was in real life. Jonathan Swift developed Meniere syndrome, and his life was ruined by dizziness and deafness. In his bitterness, he wrote the dark satires Gulliver's Travels and A Modest Proposal, suggesting the British could survive by eating the increasing flood of Irish children, his best work. Pain and Deprivation The Buddhist monks sit on roofs, fasting and sleepless until they reach enlightenment, isolated and exposed to the wind and the sun. Compare them to Saint Simon, who rotted on his pillar, or the centuries of standing yogis, or Native Americans who wandered on vision quests, or the starving girls in 19th century America who fasted to death out of piety, or Saint Veronica, whose only food was five orange seeds chewed in the memory of the five wounds of Christ. Our misery. The suppression of our rational mind is the source of inspiration, the muse, our guardian angel. Suffering takes us out of our rational self-control and lets the divine channel through us. Plato said, he who approaches the temple of the muses without inspiration in the belief that craftsmanship alone suffices will remain a bungler and his presumptuous poetry will be obscured by the songs of the maniacs.